Well, good morning, YouTube. Here we are on a nice, hot <laughs> Texas morning, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's probably pushing 90, 95 degrees. Uh, but it's 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 fine. It's Texas. Um, it's kind of a trade-off for the the winters up in Canada. Uh, but anyway, this morning I'm doing a uh, another brisket and uh, working on the the master built 560. And I sent a uh, sent a feedback um, message to uh, master built a little while ago. And I guess as a thank you for the feedback, they sent me a couple bags of uh, of their lump charcoal and uh, uh, um, starters, fire starters. And uh, I love their fire starters; they're awesome. They work really well, especially in their in their gravity series smokers. Uh, but the charcoal, I wanted to give you a little feedback on that. Um, this is their the charcoal they sent. The it's on their website. You see it quite often. And I really have to wonder if they even use their own grills, honestly. Um, this is crazy, crazy expensive, by the t especially by the time you pay shipping. And this is the stuff they're sending, uh, the stuff that's in it. It's huge. Um, you know, I've got to burn the... Uh, burn the the fuel down a long ways before those will even fit in the uh, in the thing <laughs> in the hopper. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so I'm really not sure what they're thinking about. And with the stuff that size, you really can't get much fuel in the hopper. So it ends up burning down very fast. Uh, let's see where we are. I started this fire at uh, eight o'clock this morning, and it's now right at ten. I don't know if we'll be able to see with all the smoke. Yeah, but look at that. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to grab a light. I'll be right back. Well, it's really going now, but uh, hopefully you can see. So after two hours, it's burnt down, I don't know, halfway? And that's just kind of crazy to me. I don't know if you can see it, but the other thing I really don't like is it creates a lot of ash. I don't know if you can see it in the sunlight there. Um, this isn't actually too bad. Quite often there's a lot more ash than that floating around. Something else, I never used to have any trouble controlling temperature on this smoker. But if you can see in the sunlight, this is showing that my temperature is at 446 degrees. But when I come up here, the actual thermometer is right at 300. So there's a huge difference between what the controller indicates and what the actual temperature in the firebox is or in the, the cooker is. So I'm not sure what that's all about. and. Uh, the controller is new and the thermostat is new or the sensor inside is new uh, I've got a new power cord running to it because uh, the other one was very light gauge wire so um, I've changed everything I know to change or trying to be more consistent on my temperature but uh, uh, their controller makes it a challenge one other thing I've learned about the master built lump charcoal is that the lumps are so big depending on what's going on when you're trying to light your grill you can end up with a big void down there where the uh, where your lighter stuff goes and so it can be a real bear to get this thing lit sometimes if you've got a just like I said a void down there where you put the lighter in and then uh, you're trying to put your poker up in there to get stuff to fall down so it's on the the igniter flame and uh it just <laughs> it takes forever i've been fighting for oh probably 30 or 40 minutes to get this fire going and it's finally starting to catch i'm only up to 178 degrees according to that and probably 150 on that um so, yeah, I have to say that I'm really not a fan of this lump charcoal. It's just, it's just way too big. 
Um, I hope this is helpful for you. I think I hope it's uh, information that uh, kind of helps with stuff you've been thinking about. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, um, I may put some links in the description down below. And uh, uh, we sure appreciate your time. Thanks, YouTube.